Okay, it's December 14th, <clears throat> Saturday, and oops, trying to get my hand off the camera lens. My, we're in the middle of oak openings, and I really have no idea where. We've been on the trail for about uh, two miles, me and my faithful companion, and he's loving it. We've had about three inches of snow since uh, early this morning, and we're just out romping around in the woods. <clears throat> so I'll film this for a while, and you can uh, see what we're seeing and see the dog, and we're having a great time. We've seen some deer, a lot of deer. Oh, there's more deer back over there. Maybe you can see it. Yeah, I guess it's gone. And we've seen squirrels and some birds, but it's real pretty. It's real quiet. We are dead in the middle of oak openings on the horse trail somewhere north of Monclova Road. I know that. And I parked over near the sand dunes on Gurdum. And there goes Volley, tromping off in the woods. And it's real quiet and peaceful. And there's a good snow falling. We're due to get about seven inches today before it's all over tonight. Oh, we're gonna hop over this log. We're gonna see if uh, my gazelle of a dog can hop over this. Oh, he just did. Bali, come over here. Yeah, come here. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yep, I wish I could do that. Okay, we gotta, whoops, we gotta hit the trail. Get back on the trail. Sorry, the quality of this is not very good, but that's all right. I keep a leash on my dog because park rule says you have to have a leash on your dog. I think that also implies that he's supposed to be under control of me, but there's nobody out here. We've only seen two people, two joggers, and that was quite a while ago. And they were jogging down the bike trail. I have no idea why. But we're having a good time. We're heading back to the car, but we got about at least a mile back to the car, maybe a mile and a quarter. So we'll have a good three mile walk this morning. And of course, if I walk three miles, Volley does about four and a half, because he's running all around. So it's real pretty here. You can kind of see the snow. You can see we are in the middle of nowhere. That's the Horth Trail. And the woods all around us. And Cujo, my trained killer attack dog. Aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, okay, we'll keep going a little more. Wow, it's so nice out here. Oh, look at this stick. Oh, oh, oh. All right, here. Sorry, I kind of got lost in the snow here. Okay, we're going to throw this stick, and that dog is going to go fetch. Yeah, all right. This dog is probably the best dog I could ever have. He never goes more than 20 yards from me. He always stops to look around to make sure I'm coming. And if I hide behind the tree, wow, he goes crazy. So I tease him a lot, but he's a good dog. He comes when I call him. He stays when I tell him. He doesn't yet attack on command, but I'm working on that. <laughs> we passed a creek about a half mile back. We're gonna go by it again. And uh, boy, he just jumps right in. Last week it was about 15 degrees and we took a walk over to the cemetery on Airport Highway, 
and there's a creek behind the cemetery and there's enough water in it to uh, goes up to his chest and he just dove right in 15 degrees he came out and within five minutes he was just a big icicle so we have a lot of fun I know this is kind of bouncy and probably not very good but you get a gist of where we are and what we're doing and what Valley's up to and the best thing is when we get home he will sleep all day he won't get up until it's time to eat tonight they say a tired lab is a happy lab and boy that is true that is true okay I'm just about done we got a long way to go it's getting kind of cold I'm dressed pretty well got a couple sweatshirts on some crazy claw gloves a hat hiking boots winter socks and I'm good to go I could live out here this is great okay one more panorama that's where we've come from we're heading back to the car you can see there is no life to be found anywhere best place to be